the noise. Did I not pick up the crowbar? Apparently I had my inventory set wrong. I didn't actually grab it. <laughs> so, let's uh, try to pick the lock. Well, we're getting some practice. Hmm. Doesn't usually take this many tries, even at low skill. Finally! Cargo shorts that fit. Kitchen pots. Beanie yogurt. Ooh, gallon jug of milk. Love that. Ah, that's what's going on. Inventory, please. Milk. Love milk. Drink milk. Come on, stop giving me multivitamins. I want aspirin, antibiotics, stuff like that. Ooh, bow hunter. Broccoli seeds, trees file. Leads out to the garden, lots of veggies. Sweatshirt and cargo pants, more shorts. Alright, not impressed with this house other than the gallon jug of milk. Hardware store and the garage, if we get there cleanly. They're bashing away at something. Binoculars! We'll wear the binoculars. That will help. Cordless drill! Let's just grab the batteries off of that. Nail gun, hand drill. And a circular saw. Just can't afford to carry any of this stuff. That's it. Yeah, they're busy tearing apart some kind of vehicle. I'll just leave them to it. Oh, fire truck with stuff! Oh, leave me alone for just a few seconds, please, zombies. What do you got? Coat, trousers, gauntlets, none of it fitted. Helmets, suit, and gloves. No, Ponciliano, I actually do not have a noise-generating bionic. You are thinking of the uh, broken cyborg. I am not a broken cyborg, or broken... This is the bionic monster. Bionic monster does not actually start with the noisemaker. I have squeaky ankles, but I do not have the big noisemaker siren thingy that causes them to chum after me. So, the only bionic I absolutely have to get rid of is the leaky bionic. That's the thing that is my... 100% focus, because it's draining my health stat until I eventually will die. But uh, beyond that, that's the only really negative one. I don't have the acid discharge one, I don't have the big honkin' noisemaker one, so it's not as bad. And it doesn't cost as many points. <laughs> um, but I need to make some decisions here, so if I wear... I do like the flame resistance suit. Um... I'm debating if I want to go full turnout gear and firefighter helmet. I'm trying to remember, does the helmet... Yeah, just head, so I am going to put the helmet on. Oops, and there's a zombie. <laughs> You're supposed to leave me alone, zombie. Now, do I want to grab the turnout stuff? Um, I should probably grab the gloves. I 
I don't have enough space. I'd have to actually wear the coat and the trousers. Let's try it. Alright, got hit a few times and I'm about to get poisoned. Start running. Can I get out the other side without getting poisoned? Alright, anything in back? Yep. What you got back here? Uh, we got the belt, but no Halligan bar. So I'm going to take the belt, and I don't care about the rest. Alright, well that was a lucky find, so that's done. I think I am going to skate down the road here just to see if there's any other vehicles I can take advantage of. That would be a no. Next we'll just hug the side here to find the garage. Stop running. I might need that stamina. Alright, the garage probably faces this way. That means the door is going to be on the back right corner. Unless I want to... oh, never mind. This is a garage, right? Ah, so it's oriented on... Yeah, it's, this is the front, so I passed, actually passed by. The sidewalk didn't connect with the building. <laughs> Fitted jumpsuit. Um, I just put on the flame-resistant suit. That's already a 2-2-2 two, two, two for 6 encumbrance, 5 warmth. So I'm not going to go with that. Can't use the boots. Don't need the earplugs. Same problem. Alright, come on, be generous. I need screwdriver. Don't need welding goggles right now. Welding goggles are for later. Ah, I don't have the crowbar. Damn it. Ah, the place is empty anyway. Chances of those boxes having anything are pretty small, and it's empty. I'm not going to be able to carry the goggles, so I'm not even going to pick them up. All right, we have completely looted out this town. The night of the first day, and we started up in the forest over here with our uh, poor bionic monster character. Two bunkers, <laughs> nothing else on the map other than we could just barely see the side of the ranch. So we came south, and I came over this way through the uh, overland, which was really, really scary because of the roller blades. And we checked out the ranch, got a couple of minor items, but there was nothing there enough to make worth sticking around. Took off again, took the road, looted out pretty much this whole town, including this place. Welding goggles and jerry can we had to leave behind. Uh, I think I did explore that. So we looted that town, looted the last mountain earth shelter, rollerbladed our way down to uh, Vassalboro, finished looting it. So that's a pretty amazing amount of movement and looting and progress, considering what we've accomplished. So I think I'm going to go back, try to sleep the rest of the night, and then we're going to take off in the morning. Ooh, more vehicles. SUV with no wheels, lots and lots of gas, and no controls. And no wheels. Duct tape. I are the winner of the apocalypse. I has duct tape. Okay, back over to the house if it's nice and quiet. Hello, zombie child. Don't follow me back to my house. Ah, crap. Stepped into the middle of it. <laughs> Run mode. Circle. Circle. Uh, go north now. Circle around this way. Really confuse the scent trail. <laughs> and then back towards the house. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! Run mode! Well, that wasn't good. It's gonna be hilarious when I can't get back into the house. Um. How am I going to lose these guys?
Damn it. I think I'm going to have to kill one or two of them here at the end. Bad monkeys! Leave me alone! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Place is crawling with zombies! Uh, how to do this, how to do this. Let's lure them into a house. <clears throat> or better yet, here. Okay, ideally, I have confused the trail enough but they don't know where I'm at. Hello, Mr. Shady Zombie. Step up on the table for me. No, not the chair. Step up on the table. There you go. That's a good place for you. Alright, now we're going to wait right here for 35 minutes. Another five minutes. No sound. Nothing nearby that I can tell. Um, let's drag this, even though it's going to make noise. Grab. And my stuff's in the way. Yeah, they're just going to stand on that anyway. Not really going to help. <clears throat> Although they'll have to stand on it or destroy it and I'll get uh, the advantage. So let's grab the blanket and the pillow. Let's relocate everything up to here. Um, all right, so we're going to make my stand right here. I'm going to sleep right here with my blankie and pillow and my pile of stuffs. If anything shows up, they're going to have to stand on the chair and or destroy it, and hopefully I'll hear it and wake up in time. Uh, thirsty, yeah, thirst is going to be a problem. We'll deal with that when I wake up, if I manage to sleep through the night. 2200, and just sleep. Try to sleep, but you can't. <laughs> of course I can't. Thought I was going to be tired enough. Hello, zombie. Anybody else wandering into my building? Yep, got heavy sleeper. That's why I got uh, puked on by an acid zombie last time. <laughs> They'll tag me probably. Uh, hallucinating, unhappy, and pain. No problem. Try to sleep again. Hey, zombie cop. But at least they have to stand on the furniture there. So this is about the best situation I could hope for. I'm just praying I can... First aid kits! He brought me a baton and first aid kits. Thank you, Mr. Policemans. I'm hoping I can just kill them piecemeal. This is pretty much the best combat situation I can I can arrange. Um, until they destroy that chair. Alright. Let's try again. <laughs> Not sure if I got any. 2309 now. Try again. 
2340. Time's passing a little bit, but I'm not actually allowed to go to sleep. I keep trying, but I'm not not sleepy enough yet. I guess we'll have some cough syrup. Let's first have let's get the most hydration. Quench. Uh, that's that's right. I forgot. I've got the gallon jug of milk. It's not going to last a terribly long time, and it's going to be hard to take with me. So I should just be drinking milk. Slate. All right. Now I want nutrition with no. Yeah, let's eat the lasagna. All right. So we're full and slaked. Now let's have some uh, yummy cough syrup. Where yeah, cough syrup. All right. Try to sleep again. All right, we're sleeping. We're sleeping. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m., 7.30. We slept through the night. We feel well rested. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm actually amazed. We're, we're doing really well right now, considering. I mean, the map still really, really sucks. If this road dead ends... I'm screwed. <laughs> There's absolutely no chance this character is going to get anything done with rollerblades welded to her feet if I have to go cross country anywhere. So, if I end up on dead end roads and don't find a decent sized city somewhere soon or a vehicle, we're screwed big time. All right, so what are we going to do? Um, I totally forgot I'm wearing all that firefighter gear. <laughs> I've been doing all this combat with. Uh, Massive amounts of encumbrance, so I'm gonna have to sort that out. Let's have some more milk and some more milk, and that's enough milk. So now our problem is gonna be carry capacity. I didn't find a screwdriver, so I don't have much chance of disabling the security in the van. I might still be able to get it started, but it's gonna be a real pain when the alarm goes off. Um. So, yeah, I was trading the high protection for the encumbrance value. I think my skills, my melee skills and unarmed skills, high enough that I can compensate for a good amount of that. So it was a better idea to go ahead and throw it on. It's going to keep the incidental hits from the uh, low-level zombies from getting through nearly as well, especially with the gi and everything else on. So let's first figure out what we're going to dump. I think I'm going to drop the tank top. Actually, we'll keep that. How am I doing temperature-wise? I know I'm indoors right now. Temperature's fine. Belt's gonna stay. Binoculars is staying. Flame-resistant suit is staying. Really comes down to the backpack. That's right, I gained some storage from both the coat and the pants. So that's going to help me carry some additional things. So am I okay with the encumbrance I've got? I'm not real happy with the 46 arm encumbrance, but I can't do much about it with the gi and the turnout coat. I'm really well protected, though. So 6 bash, 9, that's 11 bash. At 95 and 100% coverage. So that's just about enough to ignore all of the low-level zombies. So I think it's worth... I'm going to keep stacked up like this. I was hitting the easy stuff well enough, and I'm going to rely on my maneuverability, the rollerblades, to get me away from the nasty stuff. So I think this is a better choice. I think I'm going to just say okay to that. Hand wraps and the gloves, that's fine. Cargo shorts, jeans... That's all fine as well. Can't do anything about the blades. Backpack on the inside. I think I'm going to keep what I got regarding that. So we've got what? We're at 15 out of 17 already? Ouch. But I am holding... Oh, I slept with my pillow and blanket in my inventory. <laughs> Bad form. All right. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take them with me, so blanket and pillow are gone. What else can I take? 
Got to take the gun, got to take the ammo. Um, do I take the baton? I don't think I will. I'm going to rely on the claws. Got to take that. Got to take that. Need that. Those are maybes. Oh yeah, this is where it's going to be a problem. We're already at 1709 out of 1725. Crap. Gallon of milk. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to take this milk with me. And I need the gallon after I finish the milk, so I really want to. I got two good weapons. Can I craft a strap for these yet? Seven strap. I don't think I can craft a strap yet. Hmm. What is left that I really want to take with me? Ooh, I don't have my first aid kits or my bottle of peroxide. Yeah, that's a problem. Sort by volume. Milk and shotgun. Yeah, I don't have a single mod. Because my fab is zero? Yeah, my fab is zero. Um, I think I might stay here and grind my fab up. Fab and craft, or fab and tailoring up a level or two. I should be able to do it fairly quickly. And I've got some food I need to get rid of anyway before I take off. So I think that would be a smarter thing. So... I can't craft in here because of the lights. Let's... Let's move everything all to here. Alright, that didn't do what I wanted. All to there. That's close enough. Um, <laughs> man, I really can't build anything. I don't usually grind fab from zero, so I'm trying to remember what I usually make. <laughs> What do I have lots of stuff for? Health bow, cudgel. Just need the knife. Where's fab one? Anything fab one? Nope, because I'm uh, only fab zero. Alright, need to craft the knife. Spike. Just need a rag. Oh, that's the knife spear. Really? I don't have anything that's got the remember, quality. Hmm. I think everything is going to need the knife first. <laughs> uh, I don't have a hammering quality item nearby either. Um, thought I was going to get one when I smashed the metal shelf, but I didn't. I don't want to go outside into the open where too many things can see me. Oh, I'm 
well acquainted with the knife spear. I somewhat sworn off it. I got a little bit tired of always using it early game. Plus, it got the frailty nerf put on it, so I'm finding other ways to uh, get things done without the knife spear. How to do this? How to do this? Smash that. Grab. That's not what I wanted. Plastic chunks. going to make some noise that I don't want to make. Let's grab a 2x4. My strength is just not quite enough. Ah, hello zombie. Ooh, wait. I'm using my bionic claws because I'm not allowed to wield the 2x4. <laughs> Alright, come over here, zombie. Come here. Um. Yeah, the claws just aren't going to do it. I might have to go outside. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get a stone out of there. Hey there, zombie. Over here. Not even any rocks in sight. <laughs> uh, another zombie. Now, wood saw. They're bringing me some tools, not the right ones. Either Gabe Lincoln. I'm not sure what you mean by um, what setup. What specifically are you looking for information wise? Um, peak. There's a stool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Screwdriver. Oh man, screwdrivers right there. Screwdriver and a rock and metal pieces. I just gotta deal with some zombies out in the light. Um, come here, zombies. Uh, come right here, please. And skeleton. Oh, um, anytime you watch one of my live streams for Cataclysm, you can use uh, the exclamation point challenge command and mod list and settings anybody can type those in not just me so anytime you join in if you're curious what I'm doing that'll tell you yeah knife spear has been nerfed so it's very fragile now it'll break even off of fighting one thing so it has its uses but it takes uh, a little more effort to use effectively whoa hello zombie coming in behind me ah bunch of them Alright, let's have fun with some zombies. There we go. Get you killed. Then get you up on the counter. Um, you're not where I want you. Alright, three on one's not what I want. Alright. I totally forgot I'm wearing the turnout gear now, so I'm much more uh, resistant. <laughs> I'm used to getting nicked and uh, stabbed constantly. So that changes things quite a bit. Alright, what did they drop for me? Sardines, food, 2x4s, nothing useful. 
Can I go out and get that stuff? So, the danger here is I'm wearing rollerblades. Anytime I'm not on a hard floor surface, my movement cost goes through the roof. 212 points to move right now. So, even small steps out like this are super dangerous for me. Because basically everything else gets to move at twice speed, essentially. So I've got to determine whether I can make it to the uh, screwdriver and back, because that's going to be huge. If I can get the screwdriver, that's going to open up a lot of possibilities. Um, I think I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's get the bush between me and this guy. All right, we got a screwdriver. I don't care about the rest of what's going on here. Shopping bag, hoodie, no. All right. Uh, kind of depends on a few factors. Right now it's running at 192. I'm not sure what pushed it up to 212. It might have been my stats were down just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's horrible. And now you'll see inside the kitchen I'm at 90, 91. And uh, I got more zombies coming. They can't see me yet, haven't heard me. Come here, zombies. Let's fight in the doorway. Don't care about any of that. More zombies out that way. Alright, I really want to get some... Uh... Oh, this isn't a lot of zombies. <laughs> this is an easy difficulty from what I usually have it cranked up to. But uh, the difficulty I wanted set on this one was the movement problems. I always try to set some kind of theme and challenge mode for myself, so I'll either play with, I don't know, you can go back and look at all my series on YouTube, but uh, I always have some pretty tough situations. This one I have mainly went with the uh, uh, bionic monster that has all the bionic issues, plus the uh, rollerblades welded to my feet, so I'm not allowed to take the rollerblades off. Um, and I'm trying to Fix my nasty bionics as well as mutate into an elf A post threshold with the glorious trait. So that's kind of the, the goal, but the short term goal is to uh, get rid of that leaky bionic. I gotta get that done. And so far, none of the houses I've checked have had a basement at all, much less the bionic basement. And my only other hope is a uh, hospital, assuming I can clear it. Alright, so we got a rock for the bashing, and we got a screwdriver. What does that give me option-wise? Fishing hook! <laughs> Batch cook! Fishing hooks! And we spasmed and fell over. We made a few. We're at fab what? Fab a total of 9%. Yeah, okay. That's not effective. Um... Do, do, do. I can't both use the rock. Oh, small strain. Um, Alright, now we're talking. 
Fire drill I like. Small string, some sticks, or a 2x4, and splintered wood. That's a survival though. Let's just do some more lockpicks. Why am I gaining? What is my... Oh, my focus is six. Holy God. <laughs> I was wondering why. Okay. Well. So much for that. That answers that question. Focus of six. I didn't know you could have a focus of six. Okay, how long is this killing innocent thing going to last? <laughs> That's going to make things more than a little bit difficult. <laughs> I killed the starting NPC that I started next to, and I've had this killing innocent negative 100. I don't know how long it lasts. I mean, we're only on day two, but still. <laughs> I knew it'd be bad, but I thought it would start bleeding down. But um, apparently it's hard-coded, minus 100, until I'm hoping it goes away at some point, because I can't craft, uh, or I can't gain skill. So, all right, that answers that. So we can't do any kind of craft grinding, so it's just pick stuff up and leave. So... Let's do that. Um, so my current inventory is pretty much empty. I've got my gearable, wearable gear ready to go, claws out. So pretty much just decide what to take. So we got to take the storm in the Remington. Got to take the ammo. Rock I can get anywhere. I need the hunting knife. I don't need the baton. Take the cash cards. I'm not certain I actually want a flashlight. Only a couple of occasions where I need it, and they're fairly common. So let's leave that off the list for the moment. Uh, I'm going to leave... No, actually, I, oh, I need some lockpicks. Got to take the lighter. I could make... A, nah. Not sure I can afford that. I have to take the pot. Rubber hose is really depending on if I need to siphon. Soldering iron. I think I'm going to leave the soldering iron behind. Don't need any of the clothing. Arg. Cooking oil and milk. So much good stuff. Take the MRE. All the medicine up to there. Books. Books. I should read the books. Maybe that's... No, I can't read the books. My focus sucks. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's do... <laughs> uh, 12 out of 17. That's going to be another two and a half. I'd really like them both. Don't care about any of that. Batteries would be good. Duct tape I gotta take. I can wear the rope. I'm already pretty much max. I've got like half half 0.5 left or so, so I think I'm going to have to go without the hydrogen peroxide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no amount of toastums is going to overcome, uh, overcome that one. I think I'm just going to have to leave everything else alone. A real shame. Leaving behind some pretty good stuff. Maybe I can make a trip back, but I suspect I'm going to be on the road quite a while and I'm never going to bother coming back. Let's have a chocolate bar. Ten Joy. That'll overcome it. Alright, so what's got. Peanut butter sandwich.
pickled veggies. And then one more thing of milk. All right, full and slaked. I think we're good. I sure hope I did. Yeah, I got my 15 antibiotics and my two first aid kits. I can't believe I've got 15 antibiotics, two first aid kits, and not a single aspirin. <laughs> no aspirin yet. All right, let's take a multivitamin as well. I think we are ready to go. It's almost 10 in the morning. Um, full health. We got good clothing for the low-level zombies, as long as I can deal with them in small groups. I don't really have the carry capacity to do bow and arrows right now. My claws are doing pretty well, so I think I'm just going to leave. Stuff in kitchen. Just in case I ever come back this way, which I doubt. <laughs> what were the circumstances? Well, the circumstances were that he had a backpack, I did not have a backpack, and he did not want to share. Them, there's the circumstances. He was just a greedy bastard. He didn't want to give me the backpack. It's all his fault. All right, so next question. Do I try to start up the security van? I think I do. <laughs> so I'm going to let these guys come to me. I'm going to pull them into the house. 91. My stats are down a bit. 45 when I run. Alright, let's say hello. Crowd coming. Now I'm now I'm a little a little hesitant. Nah, it's gonna take too long. I can't I can't afford to do this. Yep, got it. poked in the eyes by a stupid child zombie again. Uh, it's gonna take me too long to try to hotwire and my speed is not nearly what it should be. Am I not wearing my... I don't think I'm wearing my... Um, no, it says I got my roller blades. Why the hell is the movement speed so high? Okay, I'm confused. Why did the roller blades all of a sudden seem to be not working? So if I go to walk, 104. Should not be 104. 104 is normal walking, not rollerblade walking. There's the rollerblades. They're on my feet. They're not damaged. I'm hallucinating and sad, but that, as far as I know, has no effect on anything like that. My speed is about where I would expect it, given my statuses. But why the hell is the movement point cost? Well, their position makes no difference. <clears throat> this makes no difference whatsoever. All this controls is what gets hit first. It has no other effect. Um, I'm not out of stamina. So why the hell... Is it treating me like I am not wearing rollerblades? This is the problem that we had in the past with rollerblades, but I haven't even restarted the game. So why were they working and now all of a sudden it's not working? <laughs> uh, actually, that's a good question. I might be overweight. No, I'm at 68 out of 108. And I'm at 16.45 volume out of 17, so I'm not overweight. I've got torso and leg encumbrance, but that shouldn't be accounting for it, as far as I know. Oh, well, never mind, it does. Running running cost plus 22, plus 320, 75 movement points. Okay, so I think that's what's, what's, what's going on. So, how to deal with this? I've got a ton of zombies near me. Um, I really still don't think it should be affecting it that much, though. not the jeans, it's the turnout coat and the turnout pants. Problem is, I got so many zombies near me and I can't break contact like I normally expect to. <laughs> and if I try to take them off, the action points to do that is enough that they're all going to swarm me. 
So I've got a bit of a problem, and I still don't understand just what's causing it. The That number is crazy. That, oh, swimming costs 375, so I don't care about swimming. I know my dodge is going to be lower. Running costs 22 movement points, plus 2. That's a bit. <laughs> So yeah, it's got to all be tied to the uh, turnout gear, the leg encumbrance. That's the only thing that's really changed. So I need to dump the turnout trousers, but I'm worried about the action point cost. And I'm just moving into more zombies. <laughs> Nah, the rain doesn't affect that. I just want to get a few more steps. Alright, that should be enough. Take off. Turn out trousers. Drop it. Stop dropping? No. <laughs> there we go. It's getting there. I'm still at 94. That still seems pretty extraordinarily high. Running cost is down to plus 13. Running cost plus 18, but that's been that way the entire time. I don't know, it still seems like the it, it changed drastically compared to what it's supposed to be. 94 walking is still too much. Hmm. Well, I know I'm walking now. <laughs> but it still seems like it's more than it should be. Nothing's changed there. And we're pretty much back to where I was. I guess I could toss the jeans. I'm going to drop more storage. Oops, did I drop items when I dropped the turnout gear? I did. I also dropped my big book of first aid because I lost the carry capacity. Um, that's fine. I'd like to have it, but it's not critical. So I'm at 15.2 if I drop 50 or 0.5. So the jeans that fit, eight encumbrance, are giving me two volumes, so that's going to drop a bunch. Um, I think I'll go with it. So my stats, the number's getting better. It's down to 85. So my stats have normalized. I'm at 85 walking speed. Now if I run, it should drop into the high 30s. Low, well, 80. It'll drop to 42. Yeah, 42. So, seems better. So yeah, it was the turnout. So, no turnout pants for me. I need my maneuverability. Unfortunate. We're going to go with it. So... Yeah, we're leaving stuff behind now. Even the Rottweiler. Just by walking. And that's what I need. I need to be faster than everything, even when I'm walking. I think I still need to get rid of the jeans. I need to get that down just a little bit further. Because we're getting plus 13. I'm not running right now. We'll go with it. See that stupid Rottweiler is kind of keeping up with me. <laughs> we'll run for a bit so we lose him. Alright, so we lost the pants, we lost the book. I'm fine with it. I think it was only going to take us to skill 3 and we we're already at skill 2, so... Oh well. Oh, we got a mansion and more houses coming up. Hmm. Mansion doesn't really help me. I guess if it's got an all pike in the front, I could do all pike rollerblading, but that's awful heavy and awful slow. Zombie burner? The hell is a zombie burner? Realizing that bullets weren't enough, the army dispatched flamethrower units to burn the walking dead. Unfortunately, there were too many zombies and not enough flamers. It seems that the tank of the undead soldier you see before you is damaged. 
Lovely. Never seen a zombie burner. Over by a hospital or a crash site, helicopter site. Hopefully he stays over there. 51. I think I'll stay away from him. Stereo, don't care. Come up on. Oop, never mind. Zombie burner's running over here. <laughs> I think he's chasing something else. Oh, spores as well. Great. Still got fungal nearby. It's probably buried in the middle of that forest. Um, yeah, that's not ideal. Hello, fungaloids. Well, we'll definitely just be doing a skate by. And my stats have dropped again. And of course, it's going to have a bunch of books. Pulp novel, phone book, pulp novel. Under the Hood and Ye Scott's Book of Cookery. Do I pop the front door and then try to skate back out again? Still feeling like I'm moving slower than I was. Still feels a little weird. Alright, I'm not seeing any ornamental armor or weapons. I'm just going to leave. I could probably kill most of the stuff that's in there without too much difficulty. I haven't seen anything. Oop, Migo. Where is Migo? Migo can see me. Migo's damaged. Body sight. Migo's got his hands full. And the body sight's off in the grass. Boo. I don't care about this body sight anyway. Keep moving. Alright, I think we're moving into town. Oh, we got a bigger town! Yay! South, Port South Portland! Okay, a little bit larger, so we have gotten that done at least. <laughs> We've found a town. Now the danger or the problem is the obvious ones. Um, I'm heading into a town in broad daylight. Hey, look at this. We got an evac shelter right outside town, right north of the... Uh, Oh, field campsite, never mind. Hopefully these houses are gonna solve my problem. Migo, what are you doing chasing me? Yeah, go somewhere else. What is up with that? Oh, I think that Migo's in retreat mode. Yeah, he's heavily injured. Migo's running from other stuff. Uh cube van I'm not even gonna look at. Yeah, I just don't feel nearly as fast. Yeah, he, he, he jumped up on me quick. Hey there, duct tape. Mongoloids in town. That is not a good, happy-making thing. I still don't know where these things are coming from. Arg. Unload. Um. Let's go this way. Oh, it's got stairs. What kind? Looking like a rec room. Just an empty room. <laughs> empty except for a rat. Salt water and saline. Alright. Well, it's a basement. Not the one we needed. Uh... Get out of here. Nothing in the bathroom. Is 
still full and slaked. All right, well, this house was a bust. Gallon jug of ammonia, teapot, cola. Just go out this window. Another useless bathroom. Oh, we got another basement possibility. Uh-oh, we got a specialized basement. It's got a gigantic mole rat. Is this the uh, gunsmith's basement, or is this going to be a bionic basement? This is a gunsmith's basement. Hacksaw, red dot sight. Yep, gunsmith basement. Not the one I need. Ah, uh, hacksaw. I could really use a hacksaw. What can I drop to grab a hacksaw? Um... Well, let's leave the hacksaw there for the moment. Shot for our shotgun! So now I got a problem. Now I got stuff I'm gonna want to pick up. <laughs> Stan, AR-15, Glock, lots of magazines. Pretty good supply of ammo. 50, 357, JHP, 40 cal JHP. Yeah, look at this. This is pretty well equipped. H and K UMP M4A1. Now we've got a problem. Rifle scope. Hmm. Hallucinating the mole rat? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, he's real. Come on, mole rat. It's worth a ton of meat. I didn't kill him earlier because I don't have a real effective way of... Whoa, now he's hitting me. Ah, oh, I'm bleeding. Now he's tearing me up. <laughs> I was doing pretty good at the beginning there. Lightly injured. Holy crap. All right. Um, I thought I was doing pretty good. Come here, mole rat. Follow me. Upstairs we go. So, a lot of guns. Note. Gunsmith basement. Good to know about, but I've already got my Sten and my Remington. I really would have liked to have gotten the shotgun shells, if nothing else. So we'll, we'll head back down there in a second. Let's dump... Actually, what kind of jacket is this? Only 1.25 storage. What else is up here? Fitted wool poncho, briefcase, don't care, pop-tarts. I can't spend much time here because of the uh, fungus, so can't just hang out. Um, or not, yeah, Stan, I meant the uh, storm. I think there was a Sten downstairs. Uh, so I'm bleeding to death from the torso. Mole rat's here. Alright, come over here, mole rat. All I want to do is slow him down for a second. <laughs> Alright, still bleeding. Do I have any bandages? I don't think I have any bandages. Hmm. Alright, stop bleeding any time now. Um, smash? No. I need to... Yeah, crap. Trapped by the mole rat. I'm sorry, Mr. Mole Rat. I didn't mean. Ah, oh, an atomic lamp! I didn't even notice the atomic lamp sitting there. Leave me alone, Mole Rat. I just need to get some. Rags for my stupid uh, 
bleeding torso.